Hello, y'all. Let me reintroduce myself. I showed y'all the broken part of me. In actuality, there's a lot of love here. I got a lot of love. A free heart. What up, y'all? It's Kiana Renee back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all a little secret. All right. So this secret right here is if you don't do this you are missing out now in this video is if you don't do this you're missing out y'all do you know what that is guess guess in the comments of what that what that means and what what that is what that is what it do what it is what it could be what it should be how are you today in jesus name all right, y'all, so in this video, I'm going to let y'all know a little something. That if you don't do this, you're missing out. All right? You ready? Are you ready? Are you really ready? All right. So it's praying. Y'all, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. If we don't have a prayer life and we're just, we're just lasting with the prayers that are families are praying for or even our friends are praying for we're not doing right by the kingdom and we need to make sure that there is order and structure in our prayer life now for me i do right before i go to bed and when i wake up i feel like those are the main main uh prayer nights because then i also read the word now praying during the, during the day hey it's essential too if you have a moment like if i have a, a moment i'm just you know, thank you, Lord. I'm thank thank you so much. I'm grateful for my life. Just sporadic throughout the day. That's good too. Now, I'm gonna give you all a Bible verse. It's uh First Thessalonians five sixteen through eighteen. It says, "Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you." Now, reading that scripture, praying without stopping. Praying without stopping prayer, sometimes we don't know what to pray for. But that's why we ask the Holy Spirit. We ask the Holy Spirit of what to pray for. Now, praying is essential in business, in relationships, in family. Sometimes you're the only one in your family that be praying. And so you are the chosen generational curse breaker. All right. So it's up to you to really hold it down for your family and enhance your prayer life if you're doing it barely hey this is a wake-up call to y'all make sure to pray it's essential all right let me give y'all another another bible for a uh, bible verse so um prayer is communication is com communication to heaven is communication to our heavenly father and it's communication to the principalities like no no you have no place here in jesus name i rebuke you because I'm just learning that there are gates in heaven. And, you know, some churches, they don't talk about, you know, the gates of heaven. Like, there's different there's different levels and dimensions of this stuff. And so, prayer with communication. And so, prayer is primarily seen as two-way dialogue between you and God. It's not just about making requests, but expressing gratitude, confessing sins, and simply connecting with God and worshiping adoration philippians 4 6 through 7 let's go ahead and look that up so do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god in the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus amen that is essential in Jesus' name. All right. So Philippians 4, 6, 7. That is a very great Bible script that we all need to meditate on. All right. And then let's go to Matthew 6, verse 5 through 8. So Matthew 6, verse 5 through 8 is, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. For they love to pray standing in synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. 
But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Heavenly Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling, babbling, babbling like the pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you even ask him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You already know what I need before I even ask it. That is a blessing, y'all. Man, praying is essential because it's not its not just about you. It's about the person that you're going to save. It's about the, the people that you're going to impact. And God, he has big plans for his children. Those that are first will be last. Those that are last will be first. Those of you that experience a lot of turmoil, a lot of family loss, a lot of grief, a lot of sadness, this is your season in Jesus' name. This is your season to rise up, stand up in confidence and boldness, and know no matter what the naysayers say, you chosen, and they know you're chosen. That's why they want to get you off of your 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 stool. They want to get you off, but God we got to give it up for Jesus because he will use our enemies as footstools. Come on now. Come on now. Eh, eh. Come on now. Eh, eh. Come on now. Come on now. Mm, 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 mm. Man, he's going to use our enemies as footstools. That means we ain't got to stress. We too blessed to stress, okay? So with that being said, y'all, prayer is power in prayer. Don't sleep on prayer. You know, we all fall short of the glory of God. You know, this is just a wake up call to not only you, because when I'm, when I talk, I'm talking to myself too. My prayer life needs to be stronger. I need to have a more foundational prayer life. And y'all, we can motivate each other and be brothers and sisters like we're supposed to be because we're here to represent the kingdom. We're ambassadors for the kingdom. So it's up to us to really take prayer seriously because when we sleep, guess who fights our battles? God. And he be praying. He don't even, he's a God that don't sleep. So we get the luxury to sleep. But with that, we have to be protective of our strong man in the spirit. Make sure we are spiritually getting fed and that we are spiritually not being misled. All right? So let me show y'all another prayer, another prayer. We're going to go to James 5, verse 15 and 16. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. That's why I started going live, y'all, you know, asking people for prayer. Some people, they were just being immature. They were saying other things, talking about different, like, I'm here to pray for y'all. And with that, man... Prayer is everything. And so I, even though they weren't asking for prayer, I was still praying for them. And that's just, you know, anywhere we go that we have to stand in our authority, stand in our authority and know that even though people don't ask for prayer, to still pray for them and ask God, ask Jesus, Lord, does this person need prayer? What do you want me to pray for them for? And man, it'll make a difference. It'll make a difference in their life, in your own life, because you're being obedient to God. And just like with my business, like, y'all, I'll share multiple videos about leaving the nine to five job, but God has been closing doors and I've been applying a different job so that way I could still make a steady income. But God, he wants me to do this full time. And so this is just a testimony. This is a testimony to y'all that you can do it. I'm going to be posting every single day and I'm going to be letting y'all know that 
the process of me getting monetized and how it's been going. I'm going to make videos about that too. And so those of you that are looking to start a YouTube channel, man, just do it. Stop the research, give it to God, and he's going to give you downloads and creativity to make it happen. I know that we can get stuck in the, the analysis paralysis, but hey, just do it. And so I'm doing YouTube full time now. I left my nine to five. It didn't, it doesn't soothe me. It makes me feel love and spirit. God knows that. And so now I'm doing YouTube full time and y'all pray for me. Everything's going to work out. God's glory. I just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to the YouTube channel. Give, give a round of applause for yourself, y'all. Give a round of applause for yourself, man. Thank you. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. I make sure to always, you know, reply back to y'all's comments. And I just want to say thank y'all. Thank you so much. I got my singles out. Breakthrough and Set Free are out on all platforms. Y'all check them out. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed. Make sure to hit the notification button for all the daily videos. And yeah, I love y'all. God bless you. In Jesus' name, Keanu Renee, out. This life. 2020, we had the world shut down. AZ bound. Didn't let the opinions of others tear us down. Thought of you as a friend. But friends don't do the things we did Had you thinking it was love I was playing pretend Drowning in sin My flesh was weak, wasn't listening